I know you're gonna dig this. I take you to the candy shop. I take you to the candy shop. I take you to the candy shop. What's going on, everybody? So here I am today in Rhinebeck, New York. Where's Rhinebeck, New York? I don't know. Somewhere near Wappagers Falls. Where's Wappagers Falls? I don't know. It's near Saugerties and Poughkeepsie, a little south. I do know where these places are. Great little town. And I'm here with somewhat of a resident of the town. He lives in Wappagers Falls. His name is Mike Barone. What's going on? Mike Barone has his own YouTube channel called... Mike Barone Comedy. Check it out. So we met and we're gonna take you to a place right here on, Ma is this Main Street? I think uh, it's like East Main Street, I believe. East Main Street. Yes. In Rhinebeck to a candy shop owned by who? Paul Rudd. And what is he? An actor. Is he the greatest actor ever? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I think I so. I you, Emily. I saw you nodding, so <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I'll go. I mean, let's, uh, let's, let's list it. Anchorman. Anchorman 2. Knocked up. Knocked up. Uh, Wet Hot American Summer. Wet Hot American Summer. Uh, uh, oh, 40-Year-Old Virgin. 40-Year-Old Virgin. Yes. No problem. You're good. Oh, you're, you're good, man. No, you're good. <laughs> For, what was the other movie? So, this guy walking in the blue just oh, said... Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I thought you were pointing to me. No, I pointed at the guy. Go ahead. He's still talking. He, he asked, sorry, for, I don't, don't mean to interrupt, and then he interrupted, so sorry about that. Usually I would just edit that out, but that was interesting. We almost witnessed, we almost witnessed a murder. Yeah, right here in front of us. And That's we almost he, filmed it. He, yeah, he said that, and, but of course we're filming this video, but he said we almost witnessed a, a crime. There's no, <laughs> crime, so in, there's no crime in this town. No, nah, not in Dutchess County. Dutchess County? Dutchess County, yes. Give me a little bit of the history of Dutchess County. Uh, there's not much. <laughs> well, what's going on here? Uh... Well, and here in Rhinebeck, every like this town is the home of the Dutchess County Fair, which they hold every year for there's like a few weekends at the end of August that they have, which is you know fun for a family night. But other than that, there's really nothing. Yeah. The Dutchess County is kind of like it was very rural years ago, but then everyone from Westchester County and the city started moving up here. Then it kind of, you know, expanded right. a little bit. You know what I mean? Okay. And now let's take a look at these stores. Street. This is a cute little street. Hummingbird Jewel. Cute little street. I don't think I've ever used that term in my life. Busted. Yeah. No sugar. This is a clothing store. What does we got? name for a clothing store. Gluten-free pizza. This is, I, I'd say this is Pegasus Footwear. This is Hipsterville. Absolutely. Yeah. Yuppie Absolutely. in Hipsterville, right? Come on. I, could, I, I would say so, too. Yeah. Well, liquor store. That's for everybody. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. So we're gonna take you into Paul Rudd's candy shop. Paul Rudd bought a little store, and I I don't know what was there beforehand, but it's called Samuel's Samuel's Sweet Shop. Samuel's Sweet Shop, and they serve coffee, lots of cool candies, and we're gonna take a look. Now he lives around here, right? We don't know where, but we know he does live in the area or has a house in the area. Yeah, we're just not sure where specifically. Yeah, but we're gonna find him. We're gonna show you. And we're gonna go knock on his door. Let's check it out. Yeah, well I don't think we'll do that, but. Uh, there, there is another, there's another Paul Rudd movie that I love that I'm forgetting about. Oh, Idiot Brother. Oh, that came out, yes. Yeah, I Idiot Brother, and there's another, but there's... Oh, he was Halloween 6. Oh, he was in Halloween, Halloween 6. 6. Yes, yes that's right. He's in People a, forget about that one. The greatest, one of the greatest Paul Rudd movies ever. Clueless. Oh, that should have been the first one we listed, too. I don't know. That's what he became famous for, Clueless, yes. right? Paul Rudd. So, That's correct. Yeah, and Judd Apatow movies is what he's most famous for. But here is his candy shop. Take a look. Here it is. We're gonna go inside and show you what they sell. I take you to the candy shop. Mike's hot honey. I'm gonna get a sample. He's never heard anything about her in the media. Was that probably good? Peanuts. Granola trail mix. Hazelnut chocolate spread. Honey chipotle peanut butter. That sounds interesting. The boulder nut butter. <laughs> <laughs> that was my nickname in high school. <laughs> so that was yours. Yeah. <laughs> really nice place. Yeah. The traditional oh, sweetest fish. Yeah. Gummy crunchy gummy bears. I've never seen that before. From Spain. Oh, remember runs? Yes. Runs are cool. You used to always find those in those little uh, candy vending machines like yeah. at the mall. Yeah. You always have them. Lemon lime gumballs. Oh, they look like. Uh, tennis balls. Yeah. 
Look at this. That's crazy. Did Courtney ever straighten herself out for drugs? I don't know. She always seems to be going back and forth in there. Oh, the retro games and lunchboxes. That's cool. I love the decor. Yeah. Powerhouse. Like, she was going around. How sober she was. And she had her head to get. I wonder how long she Jack. Yes. How long you worked here? Uh, about two years. How long? About two years. So have you met Paul Rudd? I have. And? Nice guy. How often does he come in? Every once in a while. Yeah? Is he the sole owner? Uh, no. Um, it's him and, and one other person. Alright, right? Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Yeah. Yes! I couldn't think of the other name. Jeffrey Dean Morgan? Yeah. The actor? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Why, when did those two get together and decide to buy a candy this shop? Oh, there he is. There's yeah. Jeffrey D. Morgan right there. Yeah, I know who he is. That's crazy. <laughs> and the wife. Hillary Burton. Who are you? I'm a local. My name is Carl. Your name is Carl. So you... I've been coming to Samuels for about 25 years. But this, oh, so they, this, I just said a video that they opened this place, so... This place no, was open they, before? This place opened in 93, I believe. No kidding. 93, 94. And was it the same type of place? A candy shop and coffee shop? I take you to the candy shop. Yeah, pretty much exactly the same. A few changes over the years, but that man on the wall, that's Ira Gutner. He, he started the place. This he guy came, started the place. He came up in like 93, 94 and took this little spot and that was kind of his dream. I think he worked in the financial world. Right. You could get a house for a song in Rhinebeck. I think that's how it worked out. Ira was sort of a second father to him and was smart enough and savvy enough. <laughs> I think these guys hear it more too often. <laughs> Is Jeffrey D. Morgan here today? <laughs> no, we hear a lot. You get a lot of people asking that, huh? By the way, is Jeffrey Dean Morgan here today? <laughs> what? Yeah, he's in the back. Or Paul Rudd? <laughs> I take you to the candy shop. They're in the back folding. They're in the back folding pizza boxes. That's what they should be doing. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's a cool place. And there he is. Edible frosting sheet. I hope my mustache. What kind of a cookie is that, though? It's an edible frosting sheet. I've never even heard of that. Did I steal your thunder? I don't know. <laughs> no, you did good. I got, all the, I got all the facts right. Oh, you you hit all the facts. Yeah, you know it. Everything looks delicious, though. It is. I, I, I came here like a few weeks ago and I got some of these shelves. Yeah. Oh, Pop Rocks. Yeah. Delicious. Yeah, all your cool. traditional candies. Yeah, these too. The lollipops, oh, wow. yeah. I saw Warheads. They got Warheads over there too. Wait, Can what? Candy cigarettes. I didn't think you could still find these. Yeah, well, they call them candy sticks. Oh, uh, right? they had to change. Yeah, yeah, I think they had to change the name of it. All right. What are Warheads? Oh, you never you, you never heard of a Warhead? I don't think they oh, have them in Canada. Candy cigarettes. Oh, no. hmm. You never seen these guys? Those little sour candies? No. That is not Canadian. Oh. Extreme sour. You don't have them anywhere in Canada? No. Oh, it probably have something like it, but not those. Oh, man. This is awesome. Oh, the Pez. Yeah, we're gonna have to come up with something for vaping. Remember, remember these? No, we didn't have this either. Every, this we had. Every butt you take, you get a hint of paper from the back, from behind the little circles. Is that good? No. <laughs> <laughs> I never said they're good. You, you get more paper than candy, eating those. Cotton candy birthday cake? Oh, wow. Candy sushi. Uh, this is candy sushi. This is gonna get you the $10. These two right That's cool. Here. But. Candy sushi. Interesting. Candy pizza. Candy Carl. <laughs> With a K. Over the K? Double K. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, so Mike, what do you got there? Um, toffee pretzel. And? Toffee pretzel. Toffee pretzel. <laughs> Dude, and? delicious. Is it really good? No, it's actually really good, man. You want a piece of it? No, I'm good. You sure? Yeah, I'm doing it. Me too. There we go. I All right, now I got it. This is going to be hard to eat. Look at the size of this thing. This is two Oreos and cookie dough. And my nightmare is eating on camera, but I will. Watch, it's going to go on my tea. Uh. I take you to the candy shop. How is it? Oh, what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> that was what they recommended. Were they right? It's really good. That's not Oreo, though. What? I don't know what that is. I feel like we're a YouTube food channel all of You're a right. sudden. We're just reviewing food from different places. No, I've never done that on my channel before. This is, yep. All right, Scott on tape rebranded. Scott on food. <laughs> Scott on or Scott on cookie dough. Oh. I actually yeah. only ate a chunk of the paper. The paper. The paper. The paper. That's good. Yeah, that's good. So, we were just saying, everybody that came in there seemed to know each other. Yeah. The, it's a small little the, community. It's a very tight-knit community. Everyone was on a first-name basis with one another, I noticed. Yeah, very nice people. We didn't get the, the young lady's name, but Jack, nice guy. Nice guy that works there. Good employees, good stuff. Not too expensive. No, not at all. $14 for two coffees and a couple uh, treats. Yeah. Not bad. Actually, when you, when you say it out loud, that seems kind of expensive. You know what? You kind of did. You're right. <laughs> $14 for this and that and two coffees. In my That's head, kind of, it sounded a lot cheaper. Yeah. When, when I said it, I'm like, wait a minute. I kind of got ripped off. Oh. Yeah, like in Canada, if you, well, they, like, well, I, anywhere, like, if you go to, like, if you go to gas station, you get two, like, I don't know, ho-hos, what do you call yeah, them? Yeah, but they're not. No, they're not They can't compare to this. Well, that was really good. It was really good, man. All right. That's it. We're good. We're going somewhere else. We're going to try to make it so you can see it. All right. Before I, uh, night sets in. I can't do food videos. I'm not Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Start yelling out insults. <laughs> I just I got to redo that. Uh, all right. So there's food in my teeth. I got the guy in this video. I can't, I can't be that guy that talks with food in his mouth on camera. I live by a firm set of rules. You're learning them as we go along. I have. Yeah. Black coffee at home. Coffee with cream on the road. Never eat on camera. <laughs> <laughs> I try not to eat in front. I don't like people eat. I've, I've said it before. I don't, I don't like people eating with me. Actually, I get self-conscious. Yeah, I, I, it's just ridiculous. I'm the sloppiest eater you could possibly ever imagine. So, people going I mean, out to eat together. What are you doing? Just eat at home, then <laughs> go out to a bar, go to a car. Why do you have to go out and watch each other eat? Exactly. It's, so, it's kind of like, creepy if you think it's, about it's it. It's weird. It's very weird. Let's go Let's go break bread. Let's go sit and eat. Together. Like if it's out of necessity, I get it. You're traveling the other, you go and eat because you got to eat. Yeah, but even then, it's fast food. But you eat that in the car. People are going out to go out someplace. Why are you going out to eat together? What are you doing? Why, what, do you like each other that much? Yeah. Do you, really, <laughs> do you like Exactly. Go out, but going to bars, that's different. You go out to bars, you get drunk, all that stuff. I understand that lifestyle. Well, I've lived it. You've lived it. Of course. But I don't get the whole going out to dinner Not thing. my thing. I prefer sitting by myself at Chipotle unbothered. Yeah, I, and even that, I, 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 I take it home. You really? I, I, yeah, not, yeah, wherever I go, I always take it home. No kidding. I, I don't think, yeah. On the road, I do eat at diners by myself. Well, Chipotle is a different story, though, because it's impo you don't you leave there covered in, you know, meat and cheese. Well, I mean, how maybe... How messy are you? Uh, is, is there a restaurant around here? I can show you. <laughs> no, I'm good. It's, it's bad. It's embarrassing. I just sit at a corner uh, booth at Denny's and cry. Face it. Have the back facing everyone else? No, no, I like to see everybody coming in and I cry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, you want them to see the tears? Yeah, yeah oh, I want okay. to get a discount. <laughs> so, never happens. All right. Look at this. It's all over my hands. I made brown. <laughs> all right. Mike, let's go somewhere else. Peace. Peace. Out. Out. I'll take you to the candy shop.